Next up, Beck is in Coburg, an inner north suburb of Melbourne. So it's a beautiful sunny day today in Coburg. We're in one of the oldest suburbs in Victoria, where some of the houses date back a hundred years. I'm here to meet Boyan, who's done an extremely modern architectural build. Let's see how that works in the streetscape. Boyan, we meet again, and this is one of your most recent builds, is that correct? Yeah, this is the last one for the year. So you took me through your beautiful building Baldwin last time. I so did, I did. this is now a family project, is that correct? Yes, yes, my sister-in-law has seen that one and she said, can I have something similar? Um, but she loved this northern suburb, so she said, I want to settle in Coburg, I love the area, what can you do for me? We found this beautiful property and then we designed and built this beautiful home. I love that you've incorporated the Bondor in the in this cladding. So is that what she loved the most about the last one? Everyone was really happy with the previous build and it's just the way that the facade looked. So we definitely had to come back and redo them again. Um, the timber shortage issues was coming around. So with trusses as well, we definitely used the Bondor solar span on this one. And that saved us so much time with the build. But the colours was the biggest thing for us on this project. It's a really nice light neutral palette and it's really warmed up with that timber tone but I do love in the panelling that concrete look so I haven't seen that before on a steel panel. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit different. Yeah well the architect originally drew a, a, a cement based product for the, the garage and then when we came to, to Im implement that the shortages kicked in again. Yeah. So then Bondo stepped up and said, oh, we've got a similar panel that we use. Um, would you like to explore that? And then we brought it out and we said, that's great, fantastic. And within one day, we had it all up and wow. going. So it did save a lot of money and plus it was insulated. So I had a little bit of bonus. Yeah, beautiful. when you walk into this house. It's so light and bright and airy. I love that the materials internally reflect what you've done outside, from the timber cabinetry to the flooring, even just the white walls. I know that some people find that um, typically quite simple, but I think sometimes simple is better. And the way you've got that gorgeous void area with that the tree and the light pouring in, um, it reflects off those um, white walls really beautifully. Yeah, thanks. I mean, that was the, the main thing. We had sort of three colours to choose from, the timber look, the grey stone look, and the white. And that sort of, we, we followed that throughout the bathrooms, throughout the kitchen, throughout the void. The biggest inspiration actually for the void was the staircase. Now they've got two young kids and having the right um, height and depth for those stairs is was really critical. Um, the parents will feel really comfortable with kids running up and down the stairs. Now that doesn't happen a lot in a lot of houses, but that was a crucial moment. And then the house on that side was facing north. So we said, take advantage of that light, yeah, and let it come down the stairs well, spread throughout downstairs. And that's the biggest thing that they sort of, um, when they first walked in, that was the impression that they got from the house. Now this house doesn't feel as big as the one that you did in Baldwin, but it definitely still feels quite airy and open. And you've really done a nice layout here with this open plan living that then goes out onto the backyard there. So it is a I, very similar um, yeah. layout and that's what we learned from the previous one. And then just so they, they've had a couple of parties here since the kids have had a couple of birthdays. And just the way everyone gathers around the island bench and sits in the dining area or goes out into the entertainment area outside and then uses the barbecue and then the backyard is all there. And you can see the kids playing in the backyard from here and that's a really critical thing you know, from well, any the, part of the house. The, the functionality of the layout yeah. is spot on. Yeah. I noticed too, just even some small details like the, the high 
um, skirts, but the very modern profile, that shadow line detail in the staircase, yeah. all just very small things. Maybe not a lot of people would pick up those details, but my eye sort of went to them and went, oh, okay, you've really kind of thought about everything. Even the shadow line above the, yeah. the cabinetry, it's been done really beautifully. Yeah, and then you can go all through, we could have done a shadow line on the skirts, but it's something like, again, it's a cost effective way of doing it. And then the, the ratios sort of match up with a lot of other dimensions of the house. And that's something that someone with an, with an eye for it uh, does tend to pick up. But when you walk in, you don't see it all, but you sort of feel it all. It's all, it's all around, um, the, it's a general feel is what we're trying to aim for. Well, this has got a nice feel out here, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I try to make sure that the trees were kept from the, from the previous house and having fruit trees in the backyard, I mean, who doesn't want that? I agree. It's so good fun, fun for the kids when it's, when it's flowering and it's growing and you can pick off your own fruit from the back, so. I like too that they're mature because, you know, a lot of these new builds, you have all of these really little plants and it takes years for them to kind of grow into the, into the build, but this feels really nice and it's shaded as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it ties into the little, little alfresco here. I mean, the barbecue I mean, what Aussie family doesn't want a barbecue out the backyard? And that sort of ties into the open space. Um, you can open up these doors and really feel like indoor, outdoor. And when you have a party here, it really makes a big difference just to have, you can see the kids and you know, they enjoy this sort of little courtyard here. And that was one of the briefs that we wanted to try to make sure that was part of the design. So again, attention to detail. I've noticed that beautiful cladding that you've got on the roof there yeah, and it yeah. matches the facade cladding. So you've done a really good job at keeping it really cohesive and consistent. Thank you. We really, really tried that. It's sort of as above, so below, you know, timber up, timber um, stone down and then in the bathrooms as well. Like it just, it's just a, such a nice warm palette and trying to keep that natural, you know, earthy sort of feel um, throughout here. And that's something that sort of stands the test of time. So even in the future when they plan to um, upgrade, of course, or move on, that theme will always be popular. Well, again, amazing job. I think it's a beautiful build. It looks like a great family home in a great location. So on to the next one for you. On to the next one. And uh, we really hope that this one inspires other people to come towards us and um, that we know what we're talking about. Well, you definitely do. You've nailed it on every aspect. Good job. Thank you.